Well, hello everyone. Uh, let's start our conference. The difficult path. And the Christic work. Well, um, let's just start talking about the difficult path, please. When we talk about the difficult path associated with the word esotericism, uh, there is the need of uh, clarifying something first. Inside of each one of us, there is a dark side. inside of each one of us without exception. All right? And we don't know this dark side, and that's why we couldn't accept it, All right? For instance, there is, this is the iceberg, this is the typical example I already put, always put, right? It represents our psyche, our mind, the different levels of our mind. And here, is the level of our consciousness. We don't know this dark side and due to the reality, due to the fact that we don't know it, we couldn't accept it. Because we cannot accept what we don't know. Alright? Only this tiny white part, this tiny bit part of white color, between this black and red color, is all we know about us. Alright? Uh, that's why it's something with urgency to seriously bring the light of the consciousness right to this dangerous and dark side of each one of us right and when we talk about the light of the consciousness we are talking here about the knowledge of oneself to start knowing ourselves seriously sincerely without excuses and justifications we should practice that called self-observation right only developing this sixth sense is possible to discover to recognize and for sure to accept this dark side of each one of us which in fact is full of dangerous and incredible psychological defects. And all of them form that called ego, right? Our ego is the origin, the cause of our entire suffering, right? So all the purpose of our esoteric studies is to make that the knowledge of oneself becomes more conscious. That's all our goal, all right? During the knowledge of oneself, right? To become ourselves more conscious. And it's only possible through this first typical tool, first practical tool, self-observation to really discover ourselves, to recognize what we had no idea about, to finally accept it. And if we accept, we have this dark side, full of, yes, dangerous psychological defects. Probably, if we have the authentic yearn in our hearts, we'll work on them. And when we talk about working on them, we are talking about the dissolution of the ego, 
the elimination of the entire ego. Right? Uh, in fact, such things, all these matters, all these psychological effects, uh, cause all of our negative interactions of these hard relations with our relatives, co-workers, with the rest of the society, right? It complicates us our lives in a real way. So, through the knowledge of oneself, definitely we could avoid all these type of negative situations. Right? Because here is the origin of our karma, of our sufferings. Knowing it and dissolving it, we pay our karma and we'll uh, create new unconscious interactions, relations with the rest of our mankind. Literally, literally. But the secret here is to bring the light of the consciousness inside of each one of us through this practical tool. Right? The other thing that is important to know here is that if or when we don't have empathy, We don't have empathy with any person, any type of person. It does not matter who is he or who is she. It's due to the fact that we reflect our psychological defects on that person. Alright? So, for example, if we can't accept, for example, the pride or the envy or how the people is how the person excuse me is full of rancors fears how hypocrite that person is is due to the reality due to the fact that inside of each one of us we do have that specific type of psychological defect that we criticize on that person Right? We are reflecting on that person what we carry inside. Right? That's why it's necessary to understand that in authentic esotericism, the esotericism teaches us uh, the reality that we live in a very tiny, small part of us. In a very, very small part of each one of us. So, our authentic and real consciousness extends only and specifically to a very short or small part of us. If this is our only consciousness, we can't wait for something correct on each one of us, right? Because this is our unique consciousness, this is our only consciousness. That's why when we talk about self-observation, will bring the light of the consciousness to the rest of our own psyche and discovering each one gradually, little by little, grain by grain, literally. This is a daily work. This is a daily work of purification. When we develop ourselves with self-observation sense, we'll cure and we'll purify ourselves in order to create, to build different and positive conscious relationships with the rest of our mankind, right? So remember that when anyone appears showing a specific psychological defect that you don't accept, that you can't resist, is due to the fact that inside of you, you carry that specific type of psychological defect, right? But if we extend our own consciousness, 
working first of all with the self-observation and then with the elimination of those psychological effects, you will release that trapped, bottled psychological uh, uh, consciousness, excuse me, and you will comprehend the person. Instead of criticizing the person, you will comprehend him or you will comprehend the other. Right? That's why the whole, the entire goal of the esoteric work is the one of extending, clearly extending our own consciousness with the knowing, with the knowledge of ourselves. Right? That's why it's something with urgency uh, to be much more conscious for ourselves through a direct observation of oneself. Alright, that's why it's, this is called the difficult path. Because not all of us, not all of us are willing to start the knowledge of oneself. Also because uh, we are hypnotized, all right? And we do have, unfortunately, a lot of sub uh, subjective ideas and concepts about esotericism, about the spiritual path, all right? So, what we criticize in others is something that relies in the dark side of each one of us. And we don't know that, and for sure, we cannot accept it. Right? With the light of the self-observation, we light that dark side. And our own consciousness increases immediately through the knowledge of oneself. In the beginning, the first stages of our process of, uh, yes, of self-observation, due to the fact that this sixth sense is attracted in each one of us, it's hard to discover ourselves psychologically. But gradually, if we persevere in and with the self-observation of oneself, gradually we'll extend our own consciousness and we'll discover more and more and more psychological flaws, psychological effects in each one of the different 49 levels of the mind, of our psyche. And that's the work. That's the work. That's why always we insist here, we affirm something here, and this difficult path is only for practitioners. Because only practice makes perfect. Even if any one of us only accept all this information, but don't work on ourselves practically, applying self-observation and then the psychological death, which is the dissolution of each one of our egos, of our psychological effects, we won't achieve something great, something special, something authentically spiritual. Right? And it's the same, for example, with the physical moon. Right? For example, let me... Just to give one more example, to hopefully understand it better, it is exactly the same with the uh, physical moon, the moon at night. Our physical moon has a dark side that never shows to us, right? We only see one face of our physical moon, but there is a dark side of it that we never see, and it's exactly the same with our psychological moon. After we know 
this visible face of our own psychological moon. The other work will be to discover this dark side in each one of us. And in fact, in this dark side of our psychological moon, there are thousands of incredible and unbelievable psychological effects that we couldn't accept at least right now. Necessary to prepare ourselves discovering the visible psychological moon in each one of us. When we are mature enough to know the dark side of our own psychological moon to discover unique monsters something never seen before that we had no idea that we carry it inside of each one of us all right we'll be ready for the authentic enlightenment yes incredible and perverse defects psychological defects right those infrahuman elements that we had no idea about horrible psychological defects but the first word is to discover our visible psychological moon to be then prepared for the work in the invisible psychological moon right that's why we say that this is a cruel task very difficult task right sometimes when we are walking in this internal path and when we believe that we are doing well, that we are doing it correctly, is when we are not doing correctly. When we are walking wrongly. Yes, I'm talking here only psychologically. And many times also, it's possible that uh, we think, we believe that we are not doing anything here in our internal path. But probably that's the moment when we are doing our best effort, all right? It depends, all right? Ego, the ego, will try to deceive us in order to make us give up in the psychological work, all right? And yes, all moral codes, all moral codes, are left over left over in the inner path all of them all moral codes of those your vanity codes are left over in the inner path. Right. Sometimes or many times those beautiful concepts that we had about spirituality, they become in a serious obstacle in our own inner path to achieve our own self-realization our authentic freedom right but i'm but fortunately fortunately for all those authentic practitioners there is a great possibility and is uh, the work with their own christ fortunately christification exists for all of us when we talk about Christification, we are not talking only about Master Jesus. Yes, Master Jesus is the highest hierarchy 
in our whole universe. But there are hundreds of more Christs, and each one of us, without exception, each one of us, each one of us, if we work seriously from the bottom of our hearts with the dissolution, the elimination of the entire ego at the peak of our inner efforts, right, and voluntary sufferings will leave the birth of the Christ. The birth of the Christ is an open possibility for each one of us. But obviously, that is an open possibility specifically for authentic practitioners. The birth of the Christ is the most important event in our lives. Christification is our goal is our purpose. If we seriously want to live the authentic freedom, first of all, we should live, we must live, in fact, the birth of our own Christ. Right? The work of Christification is mandatory for all those that sincerely want to achieve their own self-realization. The Philosopher's Stone, the elixir of long life, all right? When at the peak of our conscious efforts, yes, and voluntary sufferings, we achieve it, we get it, here starts the cosmic drama. One of the stages, one of one of the steps of the difficult path is the cosmic drama. The Christ enters to control our mental, emotional, sexual, motor, and instinctive, instinctive functions. The Christic work is an open possibility for each one of us. But yes, only if we practice it seriously, little by little, we are ascending by the path of the first mountain in different, in all, in several more con video conferences. During this cycle, we already explained to you this process of the first mountain and then the second mountain of the esoteric vision. And the crucifixion process is one of the greatest goals we achieve here during our own self-realization. But definitely the Christ takes control of our mental, emotional, sexual, modern, instinctive functions, right? So the advent of the Christic fire is the most important event of our own life, right? And in, in, in esotericism, we talk so much about one specific sentence. Let me erase again all you know, this previous information to write down something else here.
temptation is fire, right? Internal and external temptations that we face in life daily. Yes, we are talking here psychologically, in a sexual, in an emotional way, mental way, and so on. We should live, we should pass through hundreds, literally hundreds of temptations during our difficult path and our Christic work. That's why in esotericism we say that temptation is fire, all right? And the triumph over temptation is Because if working with our own cycle as self-observation, we detect the psychological defect that is tempting us, and we delete it, asking to our Divine Mother to delete this psychological defect, we release the light inside of it. Our real light, the spiritual light, is trapped in each one of the different types of psychological effects that we've been creating during previous of human existences since hundred and even thousands of years ago. Our own light, our own love, are bottled, are trapped inside of our ego, which is formed by all those thousands and even millions in some cases of psychological defects. If we defeat our own temptations, because each temptation is fire, we release our own light. All right? Remember, all of us, all of us, have and carry in our psychological world a 3% of consciousness. This one is free, is self-conscious. And the other 97% of consciousness is trapped in each one of our psychological effects. So if we dissolve, if we remove, if we delete, eliminate, through self-observation and the inner petition, mentally, to our Divine Mother, all those different types of envies, fears, sprites, gluttonies, greets, resentments, hates, sexual desires, and so on, gradually, little by little, daily, will be releasing the other 97% of consciousness. Alright? We'll be releasing our own light, which is the same consciousness inside of our ego, right? Each one of all those authentic initiates that have existed in the history of the previous races and our entire mankind, they know that they should learn to live dangerously, dangerously, during their lives. Right? Authentic alchemists know it already. All those authentic alchemists know that they should learn to live dangerously. Right? Because inside and outside there are a lot of different dangers. Physical dangers and yes, also internal dangers in the higher dimensions and the lower dimensions of nature. Right? That's why uh, that during the work 
Yes, all ray living the Christie work. Unfortunately, this is just for a few that started the work, the difficult path. So during the work of the dissolution, We should trust entirely to our own Christ. He works in the deepest profound of our psyche. In the deepest levels of our mind, he works. All right? And for sure, he works consciously. He suffers, he cries, he passes for a lot of different sufferings. But at the end, he knows the real and the authentic path. That's why it's mandatory for all of us to trust entirely in our own Christ. We work with our own Divine Mother dissolving our ego. But he works wisely, absolutely uh, wisely in the deepest levels of our psyche, of our minds. All of us, without exception, have inside 49 levels of the mind. We should uh, deserve the merit, the event of living the birth of our own Christ, which, yes, is the most important event in our lives. Working correctly with sexual alchemy and firstly with the dissolution, the elimination of the ego through self-observation and uh, the inner petition to our Divine Mother will be served for sure, the birth of our own Christ. And he'll start the Christic work in that called the cosmic drama, right? And a lot of uh, different changes in the life of, of all those authentic alchemists are a need. A lot, a lot of either an external changes happen in the lives of all those authentic alchemists part of being alchemists is yes being Christ's as well right Unfortunately, people all around the world, the majority of uh, our mankind, only like the historical Christ, the statue Christ. They don't consider the possibility of having their own Christ inside of them. And that's absolutely possible for all those that discover the secret path 
undertakes the risk of working with the elimination of their own ego to release the consciousness and to put that consciousness on the dorsal spine working with sexual alchemy and the third factor of the revolution of the consciousness is to share, to spread all this information without exception to everyone without exception for free without asking for any money alright Christ is just one is one of the parts of our own inner being alright and yes the Lord of Perfection, yes, the Christ work inside of each of us, work in all those authentic initiates, truly, heartily, all right? As long as we uh, work consciously, in the work on ourselves. Our own internal master should leave, must leave the cosmic drama. Alright? Yes, it's fundamental to Make the inner petition to our own Divine Mother, to our Devi Kundalini Shakti. When we want to dissolve, to remove each one of all those psychological effects that we carry inside of ourselves, right? For sure. But the intimate Christ works in the deepest levels of our own psyche. He works wisely right with specific responsibilities that he puts on his shoulders right in other several conferences we'll explain more to you and to each one of us in detail accurately the christic work the work of the Apocalypse, the work of the Christification, because an authentic alchemist is a Christ. Seriously. And entirely. Well, thank you very much for attending again to this video conference. And if there is any question or doubt about it, Please let me know and shortly I will respond, okay? As soon as I can. Thank you very much, honestly, and have a nice day.